A good night of Shabbos, a good night of Shabbos. Parshas Teruma. Toyed a mem, we're going to start off with that. Toyed a mem, toyed is was received in 40 days. Okay, I guess we're going to, we can be misbinding on that. That's what the Rebbe saw from the Rebbe in the Maimer or Sikha. So I guess there's something there that we need to open up. 40 days, as we know, we can overcome a habit. It takes 40 days, so fine. So I guess 40 days, if you look at it from energy, it's a... Uh, it's a very, it's an energy, and then as you zoom in on it and you pay, you focus on it. Um, I guess it takes forty days to to um, bring light to it, to burn through it, to um, to make it disappear and step in, step into it, step into whatever it is that you want to step into. So how it's desire? What's my desire? So desire, Baruch Hashem, there's enough desires. We all want and need and have to. And then there is putting um, seichel to it, bring it into machshava, find oasis, find where where do you want to ground it? Not just I want. What, what do you want? Oh, it takes a minute. Okay, so take a minute. It's forty days of work. Figure out what you want, and then it could be already in the pipeline. Don't, it doesn't have to be forty days from now. Could be stuff that's been that's been in process that's already being worked on, and and now you there's a clarity as to okay, what's what's the goal over here? What am I feeling? Bring it home. In other words, we can start as we are being mavada, the process of waking up, and there's like a cloud, and it moves in and out, so there's still cloudy, there's fogginess. But then there is the final bitter. When there's the final bitter, that uh, the f- the fog goes away, and you're able to step into it. So uh, bring in awareness that I'm in a process, and where do I want to go? What's my goal? That is uh, a step, the final step, right? Okay, once I figure it out, where I want to be, like okay, zoom in on it, and 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 do it, go for it. So, I mean, this week's parsha is uh, it's it's very rich. It's um, there's so much here that. Uh, that it's, it needs so much time to open and learn and together and you know see what what comes up. But um, we're just gonna zoom in to the to the center line, right? All the details will will already fall into place once I'm able to go into natural mode and see it from behind, right? Being present uh, with it from my from my da sailing where I'm bird's eye view. I don't need to figure out all the details. I just need to be bekloli is become. Terum al Hashem, become a, a, a vessel of positivity, become a vessel of, of Torah mitzvahs, uh, you know, generating positive light. Um, and then from there, anything I do, there is a Siyat Adishmaya. I have no fear because I know that, I, that I'm doing something. I have no fears. I'm completely surrendered. And as fear comes up, as a, as a restriction comes up, I check it. And then I realize, oh, okay, this is a, it's a tag for me to go to the next step. It's another uh, not in the way to bring to get my attention where how I can trigger more awareness, how I can trigger more clarity. Because until then, I was once again I was in a daze, I was processing the process. Now I reach somewhere. So instead of looking at it as an obstacle, on the con- on the contrary, I look at it as as an opportunity. And once I look at it as an opportunity. Once I know this, I don't have to sit with this for days and weeks to get like, okay, fine. Now, where is the lesson in this? Where, I, I, immediately I recognize if I'm out of flow, immediately I recognize I'm out of flow. Where is the lesson in this? Where, I know there is a light here. I'm no fool anymore because I'm done with the process of being victim. I'm done with the process of being angry. I'm done with the process of, uh, of, of um, I'm going to get the job done. I've done all that, so now all I need to know is so so I, I can just surrender to where's the message in this? Where's the message in this? Where's the light? Where's the power in this? And feel it in the center of your head. Feel it in the center of your head. From you know, from the Keshish old film, from the Das up to the Kesher, the center. This is Das, Moshe, it's Chodesh, other. Moshe Rabbein is um, birth, the light came in, and his Yorza, Zion, other. Um, Sababa, it's uh, fire is on. This is the month, and we have no fear because we have simcha. 
So as soon as I encounter maybe, oh, it's, I, I'm not sure, go into Simcha. Download Simcha immediately. So, so this is so this is the first one that I have to do with the first one that I have to says, I want it for me. This is personal. Kedumai. The first one Kedumai. Kadman. Okay. The first one is Mikol Gavar. Be separated from everything. And we're going to see soon how this is done. May his college I should dwell in the Levi Tikhri Esther Masi. Okay, we have to give this. This is from the heart. This is an aduba from the heart. This is fire. This is Mamarachul. Uh, this is a whole different uh, ball game. This is not something that that uh, you fight for and you and you buy. It's something that you have to just step into it. You have to for real be ready to receive and ready to give up. Ready to give up what I hold so dear, which is my judgments and my clan capaldikait. This is what this is. Yudveni liboy. It's the heart. This is for real. Fire doesn't lie. There's no prisoners with fire. It burns through the, all the garbage. And this is the koyr that we have now in Chodesh Adir. And once again, we're not afraid because we have marm besimcha. We have 60 days of absolute simcha. So I said, Yudveni Libo, it has to be for real. It's not something that I'm going to learn and I'm going to enjoy talking about and I'm going to observe it. You have to, if Nidav Libo, you have to dive into this. You have to step into this. And um, that's when you start lighting up the Mishkan. She says, listen. I can get I can get truma from from learning Torah. I get truma from carbonas. I get truma from everywhere. But there's a whole different truma that I want. There is some there is something way more that you can touch and feel because we're dealing here with myla mala ad ein kates, endless, cats nothing, and matamata ad ein tachlis, which means that we're meeting Creator to from such a high place that it comes in at such a low place, Adi and Tachlis. What does that look like? That you can touch and feel Zav, Chesev, and Choshes with all the work that you're putting in. The, all the energy that you are bleeding in or putting in from something that's a Soiviv, something that is iron, something that's an energy, all an energy, but it's being poured into into the physical, into my, my day, my day, day work, my pain and everything that I'm feeling, the chelis vagam with lashan vashesh is in full of color. Full of color, but all the color everywhere. And the way I eat, the way I talk, the way I sleep, the way I'm I'm compassionate, the way I'm intimate, everywhere. Bring it in everywhere. Conversations, which means tapping into um to the Asara Koychas, because Truma is a tent, and the Yud and the Yud, we're meeting from down here to, to up there. You bring me your tent, I'll bring my tent. You bring your tent, I will bring my tent, says Ebsh. We're going to go into a, to a marriage, we're going to go into a Yichud. And how do you do that? By surrendering, by bringing me Truma from your heart. It has to be real and pure, because whatever you show up with, remember, it's Selim, it's Selim is right back. Whatever you show up with, that's what uh, you will receive. But um, there's tefillah, there's davening, there's tamimas. So this is where we come into into um, amunas tzedikim. Amunas tzedikim, amunas tzedikim is key over here. Amunas tzedikim, I mean, Rabbi Nachman talks about it more than it's being talked to, I think, in Chabad, because Chabad is more in the Moichan aspect, but Rabbi Nachman approaches it more from the outside. Right, it's it's a minister tzaddikim. You know, we have opinions on uh, on different uh, rebbes and different uh, people. The gantzach makes no sense. The gantzach makes no sense. We can activate the positive. We can activate the negative matter. Which matter are we going to activate? Which matter am I going to trigger in me? Because the mashpia is going to be mashpia from both sides. So a minister tzaddikim. So this is also key. This is the kodesh kodesh, which is inside. Once you light up your fire. 
You tap into the little boy. You tap into the shechina. You tap into the tmimus. Believe like a child. You know, again, of course, in velt, but what? But the the content, take it in like a child. Your acting out has to be in zav chesiv and achoshes. Yes, protect and and be firm. You know, it has to be played out into Malchashaka, into the physical, till the cross, the Choymer. And of course, we're going to, Tibu Bayamsev, the Choymer is going to turn into Tzur, which is we're going to tap in, we're going to realize how soft it is and how much not Choymer Levenim it is. So, so the Amunas Tzadikim, the child, believing, believing like a child, believing like a, with the same Tmimus as a child. Zecharti Allah Chesed Nuraich. I'm going to Zacharti Loch. I'm gonna you going to remember Zachira, you're gonna flash, Chesed Nuraich, the, the the kindness from when you were young, when you were in your innocence. Okay, I guess it's one shot. Zacharti Loch can go both ways, I believe, but we're going this way with it. And then I saw something very, uh, very powerful here from uh, from the Rebbe. So, so again, we have the Tmimus, Chesed uh, Noraich, um, and don't worry because it's Chodesh Adar. So, the process is smooth. And then the famous question that Yaakov Lini saw with Ruach Hakodesh that uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna build the Mishkan in the Midbar, and he planted he planted Arazim in Mitzrayim. And he told his kids to take it with him. So there's a, there's a question, so they can build a Mishkan. So the question, they could have bought it from the people. Why do we have to schlep it out? Right, it's a famous question. So so the Rebbe says, first of all, from Rebbe Tachim, Melashen Achama, Shosekan, Yankov, Levin, Lekne, Lenachem, Ezben, Esom, Atzar, Ezgelusam. He wanted to be Menachemas. In other words, he wanted to, There's a, we have a symbol, we have a signal, we have some sort of, a, you know, we're, we're alert. This is one. We remember because they put in the koiches, we're trained in Mitzrayim, we don't get carried away. The next thing is, uh, uh-huh. Okay, when they saw they were throwing their kids into the water, uh-huh. okay, when they saw they were throwing the kids into the water, they, they, uh, it should be, in other words, we're going to destroy our innocence. He saw that our innocence is going to be taken away, and it's brutal. It's brutal. Imagine for a father, a father to imagine for a father to watch the innocence of a child being taken away. I mean, it's it, how, how how do you deal with that when you know your child is never going to be the same? So he planted the arazim. Now to be Menachem. The next one is. Yes, we know there's a promise he's going to take us, take us home. But it's not. It's not so the rabbi keeps pressing on the word Arazim. So the, the, the Arazim. So the Arazim is, from what we can say here, is. Aleph, Aleph Hashel Olam, Raz is a secret, is a side, uh, Yam, Yud, Mem is, is 50. Nun Sha'ar Bina, that's it. He said, you know how you're going to get out of this? The pain is so big. The betrayal and the, 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 the innocence was so robbed that you can't process that. Never, because we went overboard. Why? It's just so we can find ourselves in 50. In the Nun Sha'ar Bina. So it's all done by stepping into the light, stepping into the positive. That's where the magic happens. Don't try to process. And I, I, I saw today, very interesting from the Mo'edanayim, saying that in Mitzrayim, we were in the Nun Sha'ar Tumah. That's I think that's what he says. Fine. I believe I saw that. I mean, I for sure saw that. I just don't know where. This week's parts or something else. Fine. So... So this is the vart, bringing truma, bringing yourself, bringing your heart, bringing your innocence, and if and, and and if the innocence that you have is just a little innocence, then then this is it. Then ask for compassion. That that's all. That's as far as I can experience right now. And lev nishba benitke, lekim a broken heart is where the light can enter.
That's where the light can enter because your your ego is down. You're surrendering. It's another way of surrender. I mean, it's it's a very powerful way of surrender. So um, have an awesome Shabbos and um, to look in the pos- to look at the positive. Look by stepping into whatever it is that you're doing. You have already brought your fifty percent, not ten percent. You showed up with fifty percent. Definitely, yeah, held up your part of the bargain. You know, bringing your your ego, my shortcomings, my 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 all my stories and all I, all all that, bringing that to the table and saying, okay, hineni. Okay, this is what I got. So the other fifty is uh, stepping in. We're stepping into the other fifty to receiving the light from from Ebishter, which is taking us out from our Mitzrayim, because we're already building the Mishkan. And v'shechamti b'soichem, the Mishkan is within us. We each and every one of us has a Mishkan. We have a uh, a power. We have a koyach. I mean, with that, then is the kruvim. You get to uh, you get to fly in Torah, in in, in ideas, uh, sagas, and all right. There's the, the the crown around it. There's a lot, you know. There's so much that uh, there's no words for. Just I guess to uh, to be present in a moment with it. Have an awesome showers.